Good morning, everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to Destiny. Now, for like the 30th week in a row, Zer is uh, in the reef again for some reason. I don't know why. He's been here for like the last two weeks. It's weird to see him here. Um, but as always, I haven't looked at his inventory, but now I have. Okay, so he has the Eternal Warrior Titan Helmet, the Knucklehead Radar Hunter Helmet, and the Impossible Machines Warlock Gauntlets, as well as the Suros Regime Exotic Honor Rifle. And uh, let's go over those. I think I have, um, I think I have vendor stats now. I do, finally. Thank you, Dim. Thank you, Bungie, for allowing this to be on the API. Uh, so this Titan Helmet is 91% of the possible maximum stats. The... Knucklehead Radar is 93%, the Gauntlets are 90%, and the Suros doesn't get stats. So, moving into the Eternal Warrior, let's talk about the stuff and why you shouldn't buy it. Resolute, gain unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Kind of useless, kind of pointless. Um, like I said, it, it's, it's a decent stat roll, but this helmet's kind of like pointless for anything. I wouldn't recommend picking it up. Just stay away from it if you don't need it for collection purposes. Knucklehead Radar, same kind of thing. Uh, sensor Panic, Radar remains visible while primary weapons are aimed. It... It's useless, essentially. It's it it really is. I wouldn't I wouldn't even bother with it. Moving into the warlock gauntlets, these are ninety percent, so they're not great. Um, they are an intellect they are an intellect strength roll though, so that's pretty decent. Um, lightning rod unlocks the storm color subclass node landfall for free. Um, it gives you landfall. I I don't know why this is a paragraph. It it gives you landfall. Let's let's look at landfall in the actual subclass menu and see why it doesn't need to be like a college thesis um, landfall it just it it that's the only thing you use when you use a storm collar cuz it's like it's like the easy button you just float over a group of enemies and just hit the super button and instantly it kills everything below you in a 45 mile radius um, but those grant landfall see grants landfall it's super simple uh, these ones happen to have auto rifle loader and machine gun loader pretty decent. I would actually use these um, just because the machine gun loader. I've been using a lot of raid auto rifle. They're pretty neat though. They're like the arc equivalent of the sunbreakers and the, uh, what are the void ones called? I don't remember. It's fine. Void fang. No. Void something. I don't remember. Anyway, the last thing he has on the uh, agenda this week is the Suros Regime. This is an exotic auto rifle. Pretty decent. It was a beast in year one. Uh, I think they've kind of tweaked this archetype though so it's not as good. But uh, this does kinetic, which means it has no element. It now has spinning up and focused fire. You can choose one of these, so the longer you hold the weapon, the faster it shoots. And uh, when zoomed, it fires slower because of additional damage. This one will give you a better stability increase. This one will give you better focus, um, better range. You can see there that the stability and range change on that. Uh, Suros Legacy is the exotic perk here. The bottom half of the magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. Very good for the uh, Crucible, actually. Very good for the Crucible. You also have Hammer Forged and Lightweight. So I would run this with Spinning Up. Um, for the Crucible, I'd run it with Focus Fire, actually. Um, but for PvE, I'd run it with Spinning Up. So Focus Fire, uh, Suros Legacy, and probably probably Hammer Forged just to get that extra bit of range. And uh, definitely a Smart Drift Control just to cancel out that stability. Uh, loss when you do choose spinning up. Moving down to the exotic ornaments he has this week are Shock Hazard. This is for the Zala Supercell. And Born in Fire. This is for the Young Wolf's Howl. For all you uh, uh, you aspiring uh, wolves out there. Moving down to Curios. He has the unquote unquote plasma drive and the quote quote uh, emerald coil because consistency is our number one concern here at Bungie Incorporated. Uh, the plasma drive and the emerald coil can be used to upgrade a l rare quality sparrow. Uh, into a legendary one with a blue or green uh, exhaust trail respectively. Moving into heavy ammo synthesis, these can be used uh, during combat to fully recharge your heavy ammo supply or they can be traded into factions. I think it takes a hundred uh, heavy ammo synth to get a faction rank or like 80 something if you use the exotic class item. Good. This is your best bet for faction rank up by the way. Three of coins can be used. Use one at a time. Kill a named boss if it drops an exotic. Good for you. If it doesn't, use another one. Uh, same math with that for Crucible games. If you use one of these, go into a Crucible match. Crucible match ends. You get no exotic. Uh, use another one. Don't use seven at once. Just just use one. It'll be okay. Just use one. It's like a 5% bonus every time you use one and don't get something, so don't use 50 at once. It's a waste of coins. Glass needles can be used to reroll exotic armors. Uh, I don't recommend these because they're really expensive, but if you have a lot of materials, kind of like I do, um, you can go ahead and do that. So for something that's kind of shit, like this 90% stat roll, you could buy these and twist the fate on them. It would change all of the perks and the stat allocation. Um, 
most exotic pieces have uh, set perks and set stats, though. Um, these are kind of, uh, these are, I think these are intellect permanent, so you have to have intellect on these. I'm pretty sure this one always has discipline, and I'm pretty sure this helmet always has intellect, because it's a super-based um, helmet, so, yeah. And the material exchange on here is completely useless, never use this. Um, he also has a legacy engram. This will give you a year one chess piece. They're also more expensive than regular exotic engrams, so if you're ever curious, if it costs almost 30 coins, don't buy it. Um, so this week I would recommend, honestly, nothing. Maybe get the Soros Regime. It's a fun auto rifle. It's kind of useful in a lot of places, but I... It's all kind of meh. It's all kind of meh, really. I mean, this helmet's absolutely useless. The Eternal Warrior is kind of shit. The Impossible Machines are probably your best bet in terms of PvP. Um, but everything here is, like, just kind of meh. So, meh week for Zer. It's unfortunate. But he's over here in the reef having a having a good time. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend anything this week, unfortunately. He doesn't seem to have anything good. But he is in the reef over over in the corner over there being a, being a weird technically bitch. Pretty sure that feels good if he shoves in your... That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, apologies for this one being kind of like, meh, but Zara's inventory is really all I can work off of here. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, until the next video, have a great day, everyone.